But as far as like living under the ring, I don't know. I don't I don't know where that came from. It was just like I had this whole idea of when I got hired for this character, I was going to come down with Finley every week. And then it was just, nope, you're under the ring and we will see you for eight seconds. Perfect. Even better. Great. And on house shows, you're going to be snuck under the ring. And then we're going to see you for eight seconds. Perfect. Awesome. But it was uh, so like when I got to get a real entrance, uh, WrestleMania 24 was like the first time I got a real, real entrance. And when I came back for Finley and JBL. And so that was one of those things where I was like, oh man, I get to actually see a crowd and this and come down a ramp for once. This mm. is great. So it was, it was, it was cool. And, and, but yeah, I don't know. It started as little bastard and then they quickly realized we Which can't. That's that... mind blowing to me. I have three pieces of merch. I have a card that I got graded. Uh, because it's the only card out there. It's in a program, and I think it's on a promo photo as Little Bastard. My, it's so crazy. You like Little how they bastard. thought we're gonna put this this character that children may like and enjoy, and if we make toys out of him or any merch, we're gonna put Little Bastard on it. And then I think they quickly realized like that's not going to work. That's not going to fly. We can't put that at Toys R Us. And it was just like, okay, one day it's Hornswoggle. Great. Done. Like, did you just show up to work one day and they were like, you got a new yeah. name? Yeah. It was at, wow. I think it was right before No Way Out that they were like, yep, you're getting a name. It's Hornswoggle. And I go, great. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. So there's like, there's like random autographs out there in programs as Little Bastard. And it's, uh, it's like, a, it's just weird to see. So when I got that, I found this card that's only, it was like a European card, trading card. It's like, yep, I need that. And I need to get it wow. graded because it's the only one I've seen two out there. At so. any of the signings, has anyone asked you to sign Little Bastard? Oh yeah. All the time. <laughs> All the time. And it's, but it's like, I, I don't care. Sure. If you're putting cash in my kid's bank account, I'll sign anything. You seem like you're the most agreeable wrestler. Like, I feel like <laughs> any storyline could be pitched to you and you're like, sounds good. And so it was kind of funny. Like, I always laughed during WWE stuff at times because it was like, how are we going to get out of this one? Here comes Hornswoggle. It was like, <laughs> like that. we need someone to work with a guest host. Here's Hornswoggle. <laughs> it's like every, every, but the guest host stuff was so much fun. My bar downstairs in my basement, I built a bar and it's just signed stuff from the guest host era. Like every week, That's I would just cool. be like, hey, what can I get Bob Barker to sign? Oh, Happy Gilmore. There's a random thing. 